Hello my dear friend, I wish you wisdom. My favorite perfume is Samsara. And many of us have the same favorite perfume without even knowing it. Samsara is a Sanskrit word and means wandering or world. It is the cycle of life, all existence. Samsara has connotation with reincarnations. So Samsara had been, as you may read in many books, the core of the spiritual quest. Many men have tried to liberate themselves from Samsara. Let me tell you a story. Since I was a little girl, I loved a particular perfume, which was the perfume of the flower named Queen of the Night. Even to think of this flower, I clearly remember the smell. It's a flower that only opens at night and smells wonderful. One day I was waiting for the subway on my way to school. I was little back then and it was this lady. You know those persons that enter a room and they just fill the room with their magnificent presence? That lady was that type of person. And she passed by me and immediately after she walked away, she left behind the most incredible perfume that I ever smelled. It reminded me a little of the Queen of the Night because of the powderiness, almost as a luxurious soap smell. That perfume was Samsara by Guerlain. This man, Jean-Paul Guerlain, created a true elixir and placed it into the most astonishing bottle, a perfume that makes you think of faraway lands. Imagine yourself in a hot summer day in a garden that has heavy smelling flowers, leaves and the earth beneath your feet. I never forgot that perfume. But but I didn't knew what it was back then and I was too shy to ask the lady. But some years passed, I grew and I loved perfumes very much and I always tried to find that one. As I advanced in my career, I was able to afford easily more things. I became a collector of perfumes mostly because I was in the search for that. <laughs> I have to admit that although I love most of the perfumes that I own, none is comparable to Samsara. And luckily one day I got a sample of Samsara by Guerlain. And when I smelled it, I was very happy. Since I found it, I stopped my desire for wanting more and more perfumes and now I don't collect anymore. Now you may have seen in the title of the video the law of attraction and now I'm here rambling about perfumes you may think. Have patience friend, have patience. What I've observed about me after I dragged myself, so to say, to buy expensive perfumes, is that my attitude changed. My perfumes influenced me quite a lot. I was using perfumes for love, perfumes for business, perfumes for people, but all of them smelled rich, like money. And when you smell like money, you start to act like an abundant person. You start to speak in a certain way also. What goes around comes around. That's in a nutshell the law of attraction. The law of attraction is really simple, very, very easy, but most of people lose their time by creating vision boards, just looking at pretty pictures all day long wishing things, but guess what? Nothing happens. The law of attraction works like this. You attract who you are. 
not what you want, what you look at, what you wish. Every guru or motivational speaker, he, they say just be, become, be. Look, if you want better clothes, awesome bling bling cars, you must treat your car like you would treat an expensive car. Clean it, make it shine, baby. Your clothes must be neat and clean. A simple white t-shirt, the most cheapest one, if it's impeccable, clean and neat, you look fantastic. I don't spend my money on clothes, I just buy those from the basic area. Find something neat and simple. You don't need all this crazy decoration on you. You are not a Christmas tree. Make it simple. Also, how you smell, pay attention. At least smell clean. Your home also, keep it nice. Start small, but become that that you want to be. Do the things that are necessary to be done to accomplish your desire and only then things will start to materialize. As you grow and if you open yourself to this, so to say, occult science, the first thing that this science will teach you is to analyze yourself. We as human beings are in survival mode. It doesn't matter if you have a nice job or a nice car. Most of us are still in survival mode, but a little more comfortable, so to say, but still survival mode. Maybe now you don't understand the thing of what I'm speaking, but as you approach this science, as you open yourself to other possibilities, you'll understand what I'm saying. But for now, if you think that you don't know what's your purpose in life or you have fear or anxiety or stuff of that nature, just notice you are a piece of life and your body is your vehicle and is the most incredible machine that was ever created. Not your phone, not your car, not not a robot with artificial intelligence, which it will be more appropriate to call it artificial intellect. <laughs> you still don't get it? No problem, neither do I fool yet, but we will one day. So, you should have as a purpose just one thing. Study yourself, your body, make yourself blossom, make the best out of yourself. It doesn't matter if you choose today to do a small thing, just try today to do it the best you can, but be conscious about it. Maybe in your mind right, right now is the question, what's she talking about all this nonsense? Let's try a practical exercise. Every single day, try for a couple of minutes to become aware of all that you do. Let's say that you wash the dishes. Become conscious about the fact that you put water on the sponge in order to clean your dishes. Become aware that you brush your hair. Try this, just to become aware fully of the things that you do for at least 10 minutes every day in a week you will notice changes. Then try to increase the time. Try to become aware of everything that you feel, think, touch, anything. In just one week, if you do this every single day, really focused, you'll start to see things a little different. You'll see. Start to do this exercise. You don't have anything to lose. What you'll notice is the fact that you have control over things more than you are aware of. 
And this exercise will introduce you to awareness, to see that you are in control of the now moment. You can create bad or good karma. So make those dishes sparkle. Have a beautiful day.